Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 battle series. We are here again today playing the Dialga and Kyogre team that we've been playing for the last week on the channel. If you've missed any of the episodes from any of the from the battles from the last week, go over here. I'll put a card up for you lovely people and you can check those out. We had an incredible game yesterday against a team of Kieran Black that went on for what seemed like forever, but we managed to come out on the better side of it. Definitely check that out if you haven't missed it already today. But like we've been saying, we haven't really brought the Zerka Tree bronze on too much. There's slots that maybe we could change as we go into the rest of the week, but hopefully we can see a bit more from them because the team is performing quite well and I'm really enjoying it so far. So I hope the same is for you guys at home. But without further ado, let's get into today's episode. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to leave a like on the video. It does massively help. Just that little thumbs up down there. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily battle series and all of our other content that we have on the channel. Let's pick Necrozma version 2 because I think we've been trying to get this for a little while and because we can't find opponents or for whatever other reason we aren't able to do that but uh, yeah there we go first opponent of the day so let's jump straight into team preview and they are playing a team of Groudon, Xerneas, Smeagol, Bronzong, Heliolisk and Incineroar or Heliolisk and um, we've got probably um, uh, Trick Room, Groudon, because of the, the inclusion of Bronzong there that we've got to watch out for. The Smeagol Xerneas lead is going to have to be something we have to take massive care about. Um, the Heliolisk's probably solar power to play a, a good part alongside that Groudon, um, so we need to be careful with that. The Alga doesn't do too bad here, but we have to be very careful about the... Um, uh, uh, the Tectonic Rage and things like that. I am going to bring Bronzong. My opponent has to then really rely on the lovely kiss hitting if they do that. I'm going to bring in Cineroar, Amoongus, and I think Kyogre is our last slot here um, and lock in straight away with those four Pokemon. Um, I could bring Dialga to this match, but I feel like Bronzong does, does a better job. Um, Amoongus is needed as well to help us set up that trick room, get around the lovely kiss from that Smeagol and um, really support with that Rage Powder. We need Intimidate from the Incineroar, especially for that Groudon. Um, the opposing Incineroar as well is going to be very nice for and the, the Fake Out support is always very generally quite good. If we can get Kyogre set up in the rain, it's going to be really nice. We have to be a little bit careful in case it is Dry Skin Heliolisk, but it kind of conflicts a little bit with the um, the Groudon because if the Groudon's out and the Heliolisk's out, it will lose power each turn. So it kind of indicates to me that it's more of a um, solar power one, but I could be very mistaken. We never know. We're going to get an Intimidate off onto both of these targets. Um, we could straight away go for a Trick Room if we wanted to. Um, it's not a bad idea. Because um, we've got Fake Out Pressure coming out here from my opponent. Um, but I kind of want to keep Incineroar in the back to bring in and have the Intimidate option later in the game. Um, and in, Amoongus isn't a bad switch in here at all for Incineroar. Well, if I do try to get a Trick Room up with Ronzong, I think that's what we're going to do. When we get a Trick Room up here, it's going to work out pretty nicely for us, I think, especially with Amoongus on the field. And if we're not put to sleep, it'll be, it'll be really worth it. There's a fake up from the Smeagol straight away into the Bronzong and we're going to see what the Celia is going to do and go for a Volt Switch into the Bronzong. Prevent the Trick Room here and probably bring in that Groudon. Thing is though with the Dry Skin Heliolisk it does give you a nice option if you've got Groudon out on the field and it's a perfect switch in back to the, um, the Heliolisk so you've got a way to kind of pivot out when you've got the sun up to make sure that you're able to get the sun back in when you want. See the evasiveness rise on that Smeagol and its speed drop. So, um, one of the things I think I will do here is just bring in Incineroar. Uh, which target is going to... Which target, see, um, like the Smeagol has to, I guess, fake out and probably lovely kiss the Amoongus. That would be my best bet. Um, I'm going to bring in Kyogre. Oh, do I bring in Kyogre? It's not a great idea to bring it in just yet. Um, we'll bring in Incineroar, and we'll go for a Spore into that Smeagol slot. If it is forced to go for the lovely kiss, then 
there is every chance that it could miss uh, the okay so it's gonna switch out Groudon actually gonna hit the field so maybe the Kyogre switch from ourselves wasn't the worst thing in the world but I mean the Intimidate as well is also gonna be nice but if we see a Flare Blitz into this Amoonga slot here it's gonna be pretty close for the KO from that Incineroar into that Amoongus now the Sun is up on the field hmm. Intimidate's gonna help with that a little bit of alleviation but I mean if it is there there's a the Flare Blitz I mean you'd probably chase down the Incineroar which was the Bronzong but no gone for that Amoongus we do hang on because we're just the best Amoongus the mushroom in the world <laughs> okay that's pretty nice for us um, as we are gonna be able to put his Groudon to sleep which is so huge for us. I mean, so huge. Um, you've got to worry about the potential Shmigo coming back in on that slot. Um, but I think maybe you turn out on the opposing instant roll. Um, and we just switch into Kyogre here, I think. Yeah, it's not a bad play. We get the rain up, get rid of that sun. The Groudon can switch out, but it means it does. It is further disrupted later in the game because it's asleep. It's not burning the sleep turns. And what I'm going to try and do is get Bronzong out now next to the Kyogre so I can trick room this next turn. Especially if we don't see the opposing Incineroar U turn and try and pick up the knockout with a Flare Blitz again and get a little bit greedy. Because if the end of this turn ends up with the Groudon and the Incineroar out, nah, it's not going to, we're going to see a move this coming. So the U-turn comes out from the opposing Incineroar. Heliolus come in. I would imagine that will be the Pokemon that hits the field now. If it does, it gives us the opportunity to Trick Room. Hmm. Because we can Trick Room switch into a Moongus. Which would be quite a nice option for us going into this next turn and I think we'll do that and just try and keep the pressure on preserve Kyogre it's gonna be a big outlet to to win in this game and we'll be able to see possibly whether this Heliodisk is dry skin or not this turn I doubt what we'll be able to we need to get damage on it first before I can heal anything back well that makes a big difference for how we approach dealing with that Pokemon depending on its ability Groudon I'm gonna switch out which is obvious and Smeagol come back into the field, but you're going to get this trick room up. Ooh, we're going to see his E-move now from the Heliolisk. I wonder if it's into the Bronzong to try and pick up the knockout there. It would make a lot of sense if it is. It really would. Could go for the Kyogre as well, though. Yeah, it's going for the Kyogre, chasing that slot down. But we're not playing with that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Smeagol. Um, I'm going to Jarrah Ball into the Heliolisk slot. Oh, do I? I really want to bring in Incineroar here and just spawn the Smeagol. Because if it doesn't go for Fake Out into the, the Amoogus, then we punish it. And then Groudon's still asleep in the back. Mm. But at least we've bent the Z-move on that Heliodisk as well. That's that's a nice thing. There's a fake out. It's into the Amoongus. Smart player. Volt switch. Yeah. But then we have the fake out this next turn that we can take advantage of as the Incineroar probably comes back out to the field, my opponent. I really want to damage this Heli Disc. Just so I can see if, it's, if, if it is dry skin or not. I would imagine it is dry skin. And we need to fake out this Meagle, yeah, because it could go a lovely kiss. Um, and I think we switch into Kyogre. 
Um, no, we won't switch into Kyogre. We want to force this Incineroar to fake out our Amoongus. If it doesn't fake the Amoongus out, then it gets put to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe fake out just missed. Like, honestly? So annoying. Um, yeah, let's switch in Kyle there. And spoil the Incinero. That's so ridiculous. So ridiculous, isn't it? Ugh. Oh. Alright, we'll get Kyogre in. Okay, Brad, I'm gonna come in? Yeah. And that's fine, because we'll get the Incinero, I'll put that to sleep this turn. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of shuffling around with our board position. But I mean, at the same time, we could Waterium Z the Groudon. Even in Sun, we should be picking up the knockout there. Um, and we've got the Trick Room up. Uh, for one more turn, so it might be worth just launching this now into the Groudon, getting rid of that, um, and bringing in our own Incineroar onto the field. Getting a bit of that Regenerator back on our Amoongus. Um, and unless it's like a massively bulky Groudon, then we should pick up the Knockout here. Might switch straight back out into Heliolisk. To be a little bit of a shame if we, we don't utilize our Z move. Ooh, wakes up. Goes for the knockoff, but oh, Groudon wakes up. Of course, Groudon wakes up. I think it's quite a bulky Groudon. That damage output's not amazing. And it's probably got a berry as well. And it's a speed tie as well with us under Trick Room. And yeah, we don't quite get it. Pocket Berry? Hmm, no Berry Pocked. That's interesting. Um, okay, so let's get Bronzong in. And let's get Amoongus in. <coughs> Nothing like one turn wake ups as well. Fake out miss and one turn wake ups. Not going well for us in this match, but can't complain too much. I'll probably see a knockoff from the opposing Incineroar into our Moongus slot, I'd imagine, over anything else. And U turn. It still makes sense as well. Uh, Groudon probably going to come back in. And now we can tell if it's dry skin or um, if it's solar power. If it's dry skin, it gets hurt here. We've done it's solar power, so Kyogre can totally do this. So with Rage Powder support, we might be able to get our Trick Room up, and that might be all we need to kind of close this game out now. Um, the double intim the double fake out support is really, really frustrating to deal with. It's so good, um, especially with the pivots that you've got, like double pivot, double fake out support. It's all very good. Dry skin. Okay, so we know. We now know. Um, that's better for us actually, because I can just. I'm just happy leaving the sun up right now. Um, we can go for another trick room here, um, and I'm just going to spawn the Heliolisk slot, I think. Because if that Smeagol tries to spawn us, we've got yeah, safety goggles screwed, and whatever comes in on this slot now goes to sleep. And imagine it to be the Incineroar. That's a drawback with Spore Smeagol. If that was a lovely kiss, it would make things so much more difficult for us. Because, okay, it's a Groudon. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we get the Trick Room up. We can take it down with a Grass Knot next turn. 
We can just gyro ball into that Smigo slot if we, if we want to. Or we can <clears throat> switch into uh, Kyogre, which I think probably isn't the worst thing in the world. Accuracy rolls and Smeagol and its special attack fell. So let's go into Kyogre and let's go Grass Knot into the Groudon. Because I think with Heliolisk, once the, the Groudon's gone and um, we deal with Incineroar, there's not very much my opponent can do with just Heliolisk and Smeagol. Um, I know the rain will probably be up on the field, but again, it's not really got the damage output without that Z move to take down something like Amoongus. Incineroar, even though it's asleep, will probably be able to wake up and bypass um, and out damage it one, one for one. So Smeagol actually withdrawing now. Groudon doesn't look like it's going to budge. I'm going to see the Heliolisk come back onto the field. There's a grass knot. But I mean, even though the um, <coughs> Heliolisk out on the field. We've got Rage Powder support, which you can totally support with this next turn. Um, we're going to see the Smeagol come out, I'd imagine, again. Yeah. Smeagol. So, what have we got turn-wise left? We've got plenty of turns of Trick Room left, so I'm just going to protect Kyogre this turn, and I'm going to spore into that Smeagol. Shut that down. Because the next turn I can spore the Heliolisk. Um, Smeagol withdrawing. Okay. I'll pick out. What if the Heliolisk just protects here? Predicting that we protect. So it's got the fake out attack next turn. And the thunder. Ooh. Right, we can put this Helios to sleep this next turn and just get rid of Incineroar um, and just spawn the Helios. Put that to sleep. Or if the Smeagol switches in there, then put that to sleep. But I think we've kind of got this match closed down now, so it should be fine to close out from here. Helios protecting. Get rid of the uh, Incineroar. The Smeagol comes back in, you know, um, but like I say, once the Incineroar has gone down, there's not a lot my opponent can do against uh, the rest of our team. And once we put the Heliolisk to sleep, and it hasn't got access to that dry skin anymore, then it's it's pretty easy for us to, to deal with. Smeagol coming in. Inbound. Um, we'll not play around with the thunder. We'll bring Incineroar in. I mean, what do we do? We got one turn of Trick Room left? Yeah. We could Rage Powder, but I mean, we'd probably get faked out. Um, I'd bring in Incineroar. And Spore the Heliolisk. I think Amoongus can do this by itself. It'll maybe take a little bit of time, but I mean, it, it should be fine. Back out into Rugus. <coughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And then the Thunder into Inferno. Now Berry's already been propped, so it's a bit of a shame. Damage is sent back to normal. Okay, evasiveness boost on Smeagol. Uh, we'll fake her just in case we wake up um, and we can just spawn um, the Helio Disc. I think this turn. It's all about breaking the sash on that Smeagol, but I don't know how the Smeagol and Heliolisk deal with Amoongus, if I'm like completely honest. We've seen Vault Switch, Thunder, Protect. Could have some hidden power. Hidden power. Fire would make sense, I guess, on it. Or hidden power ice as well. Mm, Smeagol gone for me. There's another thunder. And it's now going down. Ah. Uh. 
So hilarious. Like, how many moves are we going to miss against this stupid Smeagol? Like, uh, the odd evasiveness boost. It's so frustrating. Um, but, I mean, what can you do? I can't really do too much. Uh, okay, we'll trick room. Um, and we'll rage powder as well. I've got a nice little idea on what I might do. Um, this next turn. Hmm. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. So we'll see if we can pull it off. There's a thunder. I'll get this trick room up. <clears throat> now I've got to put the Smeagol to sleep. That's the problem with these evasiveness boosts. I mean, we can clear smog it for sure. Um, I'm just going to ally switch this turn and I'm going to clear small, get rid of all of these Smeagol evasiveness boosts and stuff like that. Because you ally, like, you thunder the bronze on. You want to get rid of that so you get the rain back in. Yeah. But the one thing that I need to do is. Um, That's good. Right. Special defense boost, that's good. Now we can put it to sleep. And now we can put our plan into action. The Smeagol should be slower than the Bronzong. So we'll spawn Smeagol. And we will skill swap this Heliolisk. We'll get rid of the dry skin and give it Levitate, which you don't really need anymore. Heliolisk protecting, which is fine. Um, Spore, perfect. Now once we get rid of this dry skin, it makes it a lot easier for us to, uh, to deal with because we can put it to, actually we can put it to sleep and we can uh, we can uh, skill swap it as well. It's just about whether or not this Mega wakes up and can follow me because that could scupper our plans slightly as well. Okay, so the Smeagol's staying asleep. Sport, yes, excellent. Right, the shenanigans begin. Right, skill swap. Right, now, I think we're fine because we can just Rage Powder, get Kyogre in. Even if Trick Room ends, we're going to be fine now just to continually do that. Um, yeah, we'll Rage Powder just to protect against anything waking up and uh, bring Kyogre in. And then we can just Water Spout, Water Spout, Water Spout! And win this match. And get around this Consarnet Heliolisk with the Dry Skin, which is like actually really good. But my opponent forfeits, so very good game to my opponent. Taking that away kind of. Out, ekes out the win there so uh, had to be a little bit creative but um, it all worked out in the end so very good game to my opponent and uh, we'll look quickly for our next opponent you know what actually I'll tell you what because by the time we find our next opponent and we go into our next match the episode's going to be way over 30 minutes getting on to 40 minutes and if we have another game like that I don't want a 40 minute episode so I'm going to cut it off again today I know we've had only one battle per episode per day but they've been decent matches so hopefully we'll get back to the two matches tomorrow it's just time constraints we're just going over and I don't want to overextend these videos because I don't want people sitting here for ages there's always people that complain if it's too long um, so I, I want to be respectful keep them in mind and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another episode guys so thank you so much for tuning in um, I'm sorry if you guys there's some of you out there that did want to see another match but just uh, hang tight sit tight because we'll be back with a double episode for sure tomorrow and uh, I just want to say thank you for tuning in have a great day and uh, oh, we'll be back for more Dialga Kyogre tomorrow so until then guys take care of yourselves and bye bye